Hypertension, salt sensitivity is the largest uh, chronic disease on the planet. More people are affected by it compared to all other diseases combined. So it's a huge problem. Uh, so we focused on hypertension and salt sensitivity because it affects collectively about 50% of the people walking on the planet. Everybody says, well, there are not that many hypertensive people. You do not have to have high blood pressure to end up with stroke, blindness, kidney failure. Just the fact that your blood pressure goes up dramatically after you have a high salt meal. It's relatively easy to find somebody who's expressing their high blood pressure. Put on a blood pressure cuff and it's high. We give you any hypertensive pills and most people get a lot of effect from that. For somebody who's salt sensitive where their blood pressure only goes up 10% sporadically, particularly when you sleep, it doesn't, it doesn't drop by 10%, which normally happens. Those people, it's very difficult to find them to diagnose them and to prevent their disease. 25% of the population is salt sensitive. So we develop a genetic test that can pull those people out of the population so that we can start with lifestyle modification. Normally if you consume that six pack of beer and a big bag of salty pretzels, you get rid of that sodium within 20 minutes to several hours later. If you're salt sensitive, your body inappropriately hangs on to that sodium. So you essentially get blown up like a balloon. You can actually see your weight go up if you're salt sensitive. Again, it's sporadically, so it's not diagnostic, but it happens. Uh, so your body can't get rid of the salt right away. Well, it gets rid of it eventually, it has to. 24 hours later, 48 hours later. But what have you done in the meantime? You've had another bag of pretzels. <laughs> and so you keep loading yourself up with sodium and you don't give your body a chance to relax and repair all those little vessels in the back of your eyes and your kidneys and the brain and you're only going to use about 5% of the salt you consume in a day out of the salt shaker. 95% of the salt you consume in a day comes cooked into the foods you eat. So if you, for a slice of bread can have a half a gram of salt in one slice of bread, your daily total requirement of salt is around two to four grams, so you're getting most of the salt you need. Just a sandwich has a full gram just in the bread alone. Say nothing about the, the, the meat, which is cured and processed with salt. So you can't avoid salt in the American diet unless you go to great lengths to look for low sodium foods, which are often tucked in the back corner of your grocery store somewhere, hard to find. So the key is focus on, as we've all heard, Mediterranean diet, lots of fruit and vegetables, because there's not a lot of salt in fruit and vegetables. The problem we see is that heart attacks and cardiovascular disease claim more young, productive, healthy people than, than any other disease. So it, robs you in the prime of your life. So it should get more attention. But, uh, you know, for whatever reason it doesn't. But I think awareness is, is, is a case of understanding it and talking about it and realizing there's something you can do about it. It is not inevitable having a heart attack.